got one of those drunk to deal with them. There's a great cavo. So, there was Karo Karo keeps his head. New visions. It's a strong sign that we can back to Karo Kiki. You should see her spear in action. Your blade is to be respected, Outlander. don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Mr. Know-it-all is here. You know, your focus buddy who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence. Looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base? You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proving Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, 
I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, well, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Oh, no. You first. Better get everyone in the control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith place. Hey, I was thinking you could spar for a bit. Sure, yeah, of course. There might be a way to deal with me. Anger. Just you wait, Bar. Did you need some? Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? 
All right, people. I need you up in the control room right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How, exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones, scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You two? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. Are you with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. Okay. Almost time to go after Beta and Gaia. Might be good to check up on everyone first. watered those plants for you. Oh? I just know they meant a lot to you and, uh... Aloy, aren't we meeting at the beach near the Zenith base? We are. I just wanted to check in on everyone first. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. 
with my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way. Aloy, we're ready to meet you at the rendezvous point whenever you call. Fighting the Xenus isn't going to be easy. Nothing you do ever is. At least, now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. I know there's probably a lot on your mind right now, but I was hoping we could hunt down those Grimhorns. To harvest their control cores and fix the land gods. Right. I'll let you know as soon as I make it back out there. Thank you. I should go. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You placed this focus in my care, and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So? Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home, okay? There you are. Well done, Aloy. Despite my reservations, you managed to secure Silence and his weapon. You're truly a shining example of Liz's fortitude. Everything you've said about Elizabeth, it sounds like you knew her better than you let on. Who was she to you, exactly? Perceptive as ever, you're right. We were more than friends for a time. Okay, so what happened? I was an orphan. I had always been alone. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. And then I met Liz. We kept running into each other at conferences. We'd have coffee. At some point, it became drinks. I thought it was just shop talk, an exchange of ideas, but then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were flying halfway across the world every other week just to meet up. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz felt the same way at first. She had lost her mother a few years back. I filled a void for her. I know I did. But as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less when I wanted more. And so we ended things. So helping me, restoring Elizabeth's dream, it's what? A a second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path, beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon, I knew I had to help you. To do right by her. Okay. I'll let you know when it's time. I'll be here until then. And thank you, Aloy, for giving me this chance. My past has always been a struggle. More than once, I've lost everything. But when I look to the future, I see Liz's dream fulfilled. A universe of new possibilities. Maybe we can make it happen. We will. I won't let anything get in the way. I promise you that. These rebel holdouts don't give up easily. Haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten, and paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am... <sighs> inspired. Thank you, I guess. 
It is I who should be thanking you. All that remains is to follow you to the end. Whatever that will be. We're lucky to have you on our side. Oh, and by the way, I was hoping we could discuss that personal request I mentioned before. If you have the time. I'll see you soon then. It will be my honor. Holograms. Gaia must have repurposed the equipment in here to store other data. And it looks like it's getting some use. You nervous? I'd be lying if I said I'm not slightly apprehensive. The plan will work if we all focus on our assignments. Right. Oh, and... Uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. I need to get going. I'll be at the rendezvous point. May truth lead us to victory. So... Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. Care to explain? Not a chance. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings. So, ask away. Since when were you so forthcoming? Since you turned this into a waiting game. And as it seems you have found modest success, perhaps I'm willing to be generous. All right, Silence, I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. About your Zenith ally. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities. Well, your goals may be aligned now, but I'd watch for the moment they diverge. Yeah, I'm aware. Reminds me of someone else I know. Survival is only a necessity to my greater purpose, Aloy. I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this... Just call it... a feeling. Oh, a feeling? You mean you finally had one? Huh. Guess even you can change, Silence. Remember, we need to get Silence' weapon to the Zenith base intact if we want to take their shields down. I'll be gentle. I promise. Good. Get out it.
This place smells wrong. No sand or wind, only cold steel. And the others up there, your squad. They can hold their own. As for this base, it may not be what you're used to, but it is a shelter. Call it what it is, a cage. You came here on your own. For the battle you promised. So for now I wait in my cage for your word. Tell me when to strike. All right. I guess we'll both face the end soon enough. Ever since you got in my way, I've wanted to see your bones burned white beneath the sun. But if I'm to die in battle, then it might as well be with the one who flew with the wings of the ten. I'll let you know when it's time to move out.